Hey there tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of Winget, Microsoft's command line package manager for Windows. I'm Alex and in this video we'll explore how to check if Winget is installed on your system and how to fix it if it's missing. So let's get started. Firstly, let's understand what exactly is Winget. So this is a command line package manager created by Microsoft for Windows, which allows users to search, install, update and uninstall software applications using the command line. Instead of relying on graphical user interface, Winget simplifies software management through the command line. Uh, its goal is to streamline software installation and provide consistent experience for managing applications. So to find out if Winget is already installed on your system, all you need to do is launch the command prompt or PowerShell window. And in this window, type the Winget command. And if Winget is installed, it will display the help information for the Winget command line tool. Uh, you will see available commands and usage instructions, for example, as install, show, search, etc. Right? Now, if Winget is not installed, an error message will appear. Now, I'll open up my sandbox and in here, if I type Winget in my command prompt, it will say that this is not recognized, meaning this is not installed. Now, there are basically two methods you can try to fix this error if you receive it. Uh, on this sandbox in particular it will not work because it's not installed but if Winget is not available after logging in as a user for the first time on your machine you can open up PowerShell and type the following command the add apex package to register by family name uh, what this basically does is re-register your Winget tool but again this will not work here because I don't have it installed. This is only for the first time login in case you see this issue. The second option is to actually install Winget. Now Winget originated as an open source project on GitHub. Uh, now you can use the following PowerShell script, don't worry, both of these commands or scripts are, can be found on our website and the link is down below in the description. So basically you can run this command and I will let it run a little bit because it takes a little bit of time. So what it's doing is searching for the latest um, Winget release on uh, GitHub. It's downloading it and then it's going to install it, but it will take some time. And as you can see, the script has finished. So let's now check here. Let's close and open again the PowerShell command line. Okay. And now if we search for Winget, hey, there you go. We have all the available commands for you to use and this will fix it. To wrap things up, while it's not common for Winget to be missing, these methods should help you repair it if needed. Winget plays a crucial role, especially if you use Microsoft Store option for deploying applications in Intune. Without Winget, devices might not communicate with the store, affecting package retrieval. So understanding and having Winget on your system can be vital. But that's all for today's video on Winget. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more tech related content. Bye guys.